To understand the Chinese model, first we need a beginning in 2008, where America had a financial crisis. So Washington consensus is a phrase to reflect American model. So that is American want to promote its political idea, democracy, free market, uh, globally, so that's called Washington Consensus. In particular, they emphasize what they call new economic liberal policy. That is uh, less or even no government intervention. Let the free market do whatever they want to do. So then they, they suddenly realize this model doesn't work. You know, in the United States, you have a financial crisis. So, but China, they don't have uh, this uh, crisis at that time. So then there was a scholar in the United States. He come out with an idea they call the Beijing Consensus. Beijing Consensus in the opposite way. They emphasize government intervention, government management of the market. You still need a strong government. So those strong government is, def is, is necessary for economic development. So that's a kind of early stage of develop the idea of the Beijing model or the China model uh, since 2008. In the last few years, there's uh, many other scholars also discuss the different way to understand the China model. Today, the Daniel Bell in here, he developed a, a different way to understand the China model. So he said the China model largely of a simplified way to say is a meritocracy. That is, China select the talent, competent, virtuous leader. So the, it's a meritocracy. Your leader must be meritocracy. They are, they are selected, not elected. If we are elected, then you might not necessarily get a meritocratic leader. So you need to select this meritocratic leader. So then he formed this idea, Chinese model is a meritocratic system. China probably unlikely will transform into Western uh, liberal democracy. And uh, because China has its own long, long history, culture, but China must develop its own democracy. To, to, to address many problems China face. So the, 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 the form of democracy China has, has is more likely is a hybrid mix. There are some are Western elements, some the Chinese traditional ones, some the Chinese added new elements. For example, in my uh, paper, I mentioned two uh, Example. So one is uh, you have they call the Gong Tui Gong public recommendation, public e election. So you still have a party organization uh, select some candidate, but you need also go process the uh, people's uh, recommendation, even people's vote, even go to sit down for exam. So there's a very comp complex system. In some places, it's called San Piotr's three ticket system. So, so that is a combined election, combined uh, leaders' selections, combined uh, knowledge test. So, that's one example. So, that's a combined. Another example is the decision making process. But currently, they also borrow or learn from Western uh, practice. They call local de uh, deliberative democracy. So some area in China introduce local deliberative democracy. So add this local public deliberation in the decision-making process.